Hello, Twin Flame Soulmate Collective, and welcome back, Libra. Today, I'll be channeling messages focusing on what you and your Twin Flame or Soulmate need to embrace or focus on right now at this moment in time. I'm also going to be channeling messages focusing on what you need to release and what mindset you and your twin flame need to have in order to maximize your uh, relationship, to strengthen it, to unify it, okay? Now, before I begin, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Alexa Tarot, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner, as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike, for your love, your support, your loyalty. Uh, to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these channeled messages. All right, Libra, let's take a look. I'm looking at the uh, what you guys need to embrace. So I'm looking at both you and your twin flame. So this is you guys together as a united front. What you guys need to embrace or focus right now on at this moment in time. So let's see what's going on here for Libra and their twin flame or soulmate. Focus more or embrace more romance, okay? So that's one of the things, especially during moments where either one of you or both of you may be having some type of differences, even though one person may not agree with the other. There's a sense here of still focusing on the romance between the both of you. Okay. Um, I feel here that there may be, uh, and you also, you guys also have chemistry in the back, right? So I feel here that some of you may be, um, at times when you bump heads or when there are disagreements or just moments where things may not be going as easily or as smoothly as, uh, you would like for them to, uh, to go or to be, um, there may be at times th this energy of, um, either feeling disappointed, feeling like you're being let down, whether that's together as a couple or individually. Okay. Um, so, and, and especially in those moments, okay. Um, it's coming across here as the main focus or the main thing that needs to be at the forefront of this relationship and of this union is focusing on the chemistry and focusing on that romance. Okay. Let's see what else is coming in uh, as things you guys need to embrace. Well, eight of wands, what do you need to embrace? Communication, okay? Eight of wands has a lot to do with communication. Um, so instead of uh, wanting to go your separate ways or instead of, uh, you know, shutting down uh, the communication or doing silent treatments, okay, which you know, may not be conducive to a cohesive relationship. This eight of wands is talking about having the passion, inspiration, and motivation to push your, you guys forward, no matter, or despite any challenges, okay, or obstacles or bumps in the road that you guys may have. Eight of wands is all about communication. So talking and focusing on positive communication, airing out the differences, or the feeling of being either disappointed, okay, or feeling, feeling let down or rejected is very important right now at this moment in time. Now, eight of wands at the bottom, it says, I manifest multiple op opportunities, okay? So there are multiple ways that you guys can uh, create a more solid foundation in regards to the area of communication. Let's take a look here, Libra. What do you, Libra, and your soulmate or twin flame, what do you guys need to let go of? Okay, what do you need to release? Guys, if you haven't clicked on that subscribe button down there, please do so now so you can be part of the Lexa Tarot family. And let's see what you guys need to release as a couple. All right, so you guys have here Mend a Broken Heart. Uh, mend a broken heart, heart fairy, healing from heartache. Exactly what we were talking about uh, a little earlier about the rejection. There may be at times these feelings of, uh, you know, again, feeling like there are differences, feeling rejected, uh, having a broken heart, having uh, your feelings hurt, okay? Uh, perhaps some of you with words, with actions or with words not spoken or actions not taken. Um, others of you may 
honestly, what I'm getting here is silent treatment. Some of you um, like to shut down the communication um, or that's your pattern of behavior. Okay, so maybe you don't like to do that, but that's just your instinctive MO. And, you know, when you shut down, whether that is you, Libra, or your twin flame or soulmate, there is a feeling of hurt. There's a feeling of, you know, let's air this out, okay? Because the coldness, the distance, it really comes across as feeling rejected, okay? So whether that's you, Libra that may do that at times uh, in, as a coping mechanism, okay? Or whether that's your twin flame who may do that as well, okay? Or both of you. But there is this feeling here of letting go of the heartache those moments uh, may bring in, you know, in within your relationship, okay? Let's take a look at what else you need to release. Envious gluttony. Now, this is all about excess. And I feel here, um, there is this sense of repressing. There's an excess of pushing down so much that it creates a wall of silence. Okay. And what I'm feeling here is, uh, intuitively is that there's a need to let go of this excessive repression, okay? Um, some of you may need to let go as a couple of the jealousy, of the insecurities, okay? Sometimes jealousy or being envious, whether that's, uh, you know, feeling that someone is looking at your partner or feeling jealous, you know, uh, within the connection, um, stems from some sort of emotional insecurity or feeling inadequate. Okay. Um, about something. All right. Now, whether that is together as a couple or whether that is individually, I am picking up here that there is this sense at times that certain things that may be done are done because there is a sense of insecurity. Now, that could come across as feeling insecure um, and not allowing your vul vulnerabilities as a couple to show uh, with each other. That could be as well. But others of you, I feel that there is this sense of really trying to heal that heartache. And what's happening here is that there are a lot of repressed things that are not being said, that are not being spoken about, especially here when the focus is really, uh, you know, um, bringing us to the eight of wands energy, that sense of communication, opening up, pushing uh, forward, you know, uh, releasing the sense of repression or releasing the sense of uh, feeling rejected or doing things or saying things that may in a way erode or take away from the romance. Okay. So romance and communication is uh, both very important here for you to focus on right now at this moment in time. Now, as a couple, we have here uh, what you need to focus on as far as the mindset. So the mindset here for both of you is our possibilities are endless. Now I say our, because this is a unified front. This is about the mindset that you and your twin flame need in order to maximize, um, all the, you know, great potential that you guys have as a couple. So what opportunities have come your way to show that you are grateful for your partner and your partner is grateful for you. Now, endless possibilities. And you also got, you guys have multiple opportunities. There is a, uh, a, a thread here that keeps coming across over and over again. Okay. Two different decks, pretty much very close or similar messages here. There are opportunities that you and your twin flame have in order to, again, unify in a cohesive union. Libra, I hope these messages were insightful. Click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family and click down here for more messages. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.